Clark came up to Kildare Village to take a look at some cars, didn't we? Yeah. We need a coffee first. Because me and Clark were supposed to be going on this with the Raptor when we had it, but we didn't, but we're still, look, we have our little lanyard, don't we? Because we're kind of big deals. Are we keeping but, it? Yeah, but we don't have a Jeep. Nah. Shame. Trying to process. My car is nice. <laughs> Funny thing about that joke, she's a one point. She's one point six. But now Clark's tired and we're gonna get something to eat. And we're a little bit good that we couldn't go on the rest of it. Bit of a shame, for sure. The next time, next time. Uh, the first brother collected. Yep. He's only ever getting out of the shower. Hurry on, will ya? I have a bit of respect for you and let you drive. Oh, uh, that'll be fair, Sam. Yeah. I think what you do is you're you sitting in the dark. There's an hour and a half, two hours. You know the ones, the saw buttons that you would see on your, the John Deere, the tree down at the bottom. Now go over to your right thumb and press the very first button that you see with your thumb. That's your saw button. That should turn on your head. That's, you just, it's a tilt down, rollers open and close and saw. Oh, no, like, uh, me and Garrett were exactly. fucked into the back. Oh, fuck, oh, yeah. Seamus is in a wood there. That's that's fucking. I don't know whether he's going now or not. There. That's just in tallow. Um, there's fucking. There's timber in a wood there. In that dog. Oh, we take it home, miss. It's already fart. It's like fucking cold. I don't know whether it's a fucking bad MDF or a bad trailer. It's good MDF. The MDF there is worth more than that trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Craig Glove and Galway. Aren't you? Alright, you had someone that knew where they were going on the stage, yeah? I'm not sure I can do no more than tell you where to go. Oh jeez, look at this. This one. At the scooter. Off yeah, she goes. Them fucking young strange me, Craig. I thought they were legal. I thought they were legal too. There's two fucking... Ah, look. Two lads comes into a car though. Obviously and, uh, women are above the law. They're two African... <laughs> <laughs> There's my Jamie said no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, sound check, sound check. Yeah, I'll do that now. Alright, the you know. professional one. one <laughs> I want to show, show the lads we're turning this into a disco area now. So if Red someone rock. wants to come here and do a, a podcast now, but they want a different kind of a vibe, you want a real. I don't know, strip club <laughs> vibe without. Oh, Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> so disco party, strip club, add the drink, <laughs> think about it, bit of music. My yeah. Jamie could be the DJ. Do one, the DJ move. One drink and just be the one. See, see, we're getting it done. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. That was forest. Mm. <laughs> this is green. Is this that forest? Is, um, That's forest. That one is called, yeah. This one is jungle. It's just a different shade of green. Yeah, that <laughs> works. I think that's right. We could have done it with that. Here now. That's one for you, Dave. Romance. <laughs> Romance. No, bromance. <laughs> Change it around. Change it around. There's a timer and everything else. Just say I put a pole there. There. Yes. And I wanted to get up on the table and just go. <laughs> Stay 
going now. We're going to go into Pat there. He only lives out the road and he says, hey, boys, go on in there. And... Hey, who Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Thanks very much. Sound. Oh, Wanker. 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 Some dickhead, isn't he? Oh, wolf of bodies. <laughs> oh, Hinchy. Hinchy. We rob a bit of diesel. Of Hinchy. Special delivery today. From office, 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 office. This is the cool thing for putting on the tracks. It is. I'd say you'll use that a lot. Yeah, bro. I Doing you. the tracks just got easier. For the other tracks? Yeah. Jesus, office, 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 it's a great job. Cheers, boys, Eddie, never let you down, boys. Yeah. Man, Eddie. Eddie Power. Likes to be called Eddie. Uh, only by his friends. Carrots his friend. Because you were dressed very well today. Yeah, weren't you? Oh, you've changed. Well, they're my favourite, the Baltic job. I don't know what they do or what they're for. But lucky enough, we have. Instructions for the off 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 Before we get loads of messages now wondering what that actually is It's the thingy thing for tightening the tracks And you don't have to go like this Because we're too old for that now Too old Thank you No, I'm still Can the Like this Woke up with that this morning the podcast should be out tomorrow evening. I reckon. I'm hoping. Well, if I had my way, I'd be putting in a ooh, a yoke like that, and I'd be burning turf and sticks. But because we live in a free country, I'm not allowed. Probably in air to water or something. Mammy told me to put in a hidden chimney. <laughs> Mammy's after saying to me there that uh, you say, "Go on, tell him what you said." <laughs> She she doesn't like my hair. She says I should colour it. <laughs> she doesn't like it like that. Put a nice, um, what do you call it, a nice rinse through it. You, know, you hair, don't like the grey? You don't think it looks good? No. Makes you don't think I look like a silver fox? Uh, yeah, good. You're very young. I'm 40. That's Two a, in that's July. A, that's a child. Mammy thinks I should uh, dye my hair like Garrett. Garrett does <laughs> <laughs> Daddy got a bit of digging work done, look. Yeah, Dan, don't be giving out about John Deere top, right? But I am looking forward to my new stuff. Mammy's after giving me amazing advice. She's after saying, any stress that I have, just believe in God and tra say three Hail Marys. So I'm going to say, how many? To Our Lady. To Our Lady. And that's tell, tell, tell you. That's not whatever you want to do. Can't do any harm. She'll do. Can't do any harm. Do you know why orgies take so long up in heaven? <laughs> what are you saying? Jesus is always persuading everyone he's going to come again. <laughs> oh my God, Dave. Funny enough, it's the bonsai tree. Don't even know if that's the real name for it, but that's the favourite one. So, that threw you off, didn't it? I gave up on that an awful long time ago. I fit all the criteria for having a blue tick. But the uh, powers that be to run all this shit, crooked dirty fucks. And I don't stick to the narrative, so no tick for me. No, 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 I won't have it said. My customers and my followers are the best followers that anyone could have. And they support me and I like to give back to them. And yeah, it's a good deal all around. I love you. As you can see from the post that got removed earlier on, um, eventually I'll have to pop a paywall or just give it up altogether. I got reported for 
make a little of alcoholism in that post. So. And don't forget, I'm also a tender and a tentative lover. Aren't I, Vic? Yeah. yeah. 100%. 100%. Can I, can I argue with that kind of certainty? That level of certainty. 100%. 100. I did get him in. I got him in and I told everyone that we're going to be gone quick and nobody ever listens to me. No one ever listens. Lily Clark. I'm sorry. I think they're all gone. It's not on video on Spotify, but it is on YouTube. So if you go to the Wood from the Trees YouTube channel, they're all there. Do you like my brand? <laughs> Peasy English Office, hands down, best program ever made. Anyone that thinks any different is basically a fucking dickhead. <laughs> you want a kiss? Mm. Bye. Love you, Daddy. Bye, bye. My humble opinion, that means absolutely nothing, I would say yes. Anyway, the government are going to need every penny of that extra tax revenue they can get from the cannabis to run the country and keep all those fucking fairies happy because we're all going to be fucked off somewhere else. Where, I don't know, but somewhere. I was lying to you, I'd tell you the crack is 90, but being honest, no, don't get me wrong, I'm not sad and not crying myself to sleep at night, but the crack's not 90. I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun. If I was working evenings with Gareth, I would be out on the road, ready for me to hop in. Not Greg. No, with Greg, he'll stay cutting away at the back of the wood. So I have to walk in for all the fucking shit that I have about a mile into the wood. Why? Because he's a cunt of a man. That's why, because he's a cunt of a man. Um, I'm not fucking stones last night. I stood up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I would love to tell you that I was up at 3 o'clock in the morning doing orders and stuff. No, started watching that Netflix programme. Drive to survive, was hooked on until 3 o'clock in the morning. Then I go up this morning, done orders all day, and now I'm working tonight, so. I'm a big fucking eager. And the uh, podcast that we recorded is up on Spotify, should be on ACAST and all the rest now in the next few hours, and YouTube tomorrow. Uh, it was funny when we first started recording, the minute that I put the earphones on the lads, they went all quiet. Because the first time you do it, it sounds a little bit weird. So for the first five minutes, you'll notice everyone's real quiet. Except for me talking shy. But then after that, it was grand. So the next ones will be way easier. It's a bit of crack. Garrett? Gone home. Oh, oh, my back. I'm carrying the fucking bastards. Come on, dickhead. Garbage You need it. I think we all laughed at the exact same time when Greg told me to use all chains. <laughs> oh, too fake. I won't be using any old chains until every single one of the new ones is gone. Greg's not, Greg's not wanting me to come here and get serious money for a fucking hour. No, that's just not making the cut. Fill that hole there. Get serious money per hour and pricking around with all chains. Oh, dude, no, I need that. I need lights. Let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, for fuck's sake. Sure, that's mint. Watch it out. Like daylight. That's just what I need. That is just what I need. I'm also getting toasty warm in here, so I'm going to strip down to my nipples. Oh, hello, David. Just parked up, doing nothing. All them little dots are all the logs flying at time. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to see what's inside that. And sure, you know what this is. And if anyone thought that I'd lost it, <laughs> lost what? Me lose something? You're fucking joking. Stop a long chair. What? What? Oh, it's very hot. It's very fucking delicious. I'm going home. I have enough of it and my head is frayed. So, yeah. So if you're reading it down there to that. So I'll put it inside of your face. Right. Yeah. Okay. There is a fair delay, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, there is that.
You ready? Okay. Right, Dan, you ready? You're up. You ready? <laughs> Do we all have to clap? No! <laughs> <laughs> we don't all have to clap. It's just to, to like the audio. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Wood from the Trees podcast. There's only a few of us left. Adam, of course, is in bed pulling his wire. Hope you all had a good Paddy's day. That's why he didn't bother his fucking dick going to work today. I'll be alright. I'll be alright. Unless someone tries to attack me and then I won't have super army soldiers. You know, fight to the death skills. I just have to tip my arm without him. Thanks, Adam. That's not happy. I'm not happy. I can't get the phone to connect to the radio to the machine. And that wouldn't be so bad. Radio station that I can get is Lyric FM, and for anyone that doesn't know what Lyric FM is, Lyric FM is the type of music that I feel when it emanates from the speakers. There is a pungent, strong smell of piss off. Take from that what you will. Running so as the public gives something to them come out of job. Oh, go in there and have as much shite music as you want. There's only a few old deaf people listening anyway. A bit of company. Now, as the amazing NF said in the hit song Search, you better grab your balloons and invite your friend. Now, I don't know what relevance that has to me finishing that lane and starting another one but I do know that I can't get the air conditioning to work properly in this and I'm getting very warm so I'm going to have to take off my underpants now sorry I mean my hoodie just said I'd come up and get me lunch here and mum and dad mammy's, mammy's giving out to me nobody <laughs> huh? I said we're the lady with nobody mammy's giving out to me she said I didn't call up yesterday yeah sure mammy there's no point in lying we might as well tell everyone the truth she's giving out to me it's hard to be a man in a woman's world. I just asked Mammy, would she do a podcast with me? And she said, yeah, on one condition, David, that you let me tell everyone how every cunt that ever came from Paddock and Drim is only a bollocks. And I said, Mammy, you can't go on like that. That's shocking. I know loads of people from around. There's beautiful people down around there. Beautiful people. Mammy's a Paddock woman. That's, that's where I'm from. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, for her sins, that he, that he saved her. <laughs> <laughs> he saved her and brought her up the cameras. Of course you love me. What's his name? Am I your favourite son? DJ has. My yeah, favourite son. Of course you are. See? Did you hear that? <laughs> I hope Sean's listening. I was just out admiring my work while I manhandled the big lad to go have a tinkle and noticed the berries here. He ba. Getting a load of lumber and Andy Bubbins. Can't see there with the bright ball of burning gas millions of miles away. There, see? It's Andy Bubbins. And then the nearly at the bottom of this lane now. Making some money today, boys. Yeah, but just told Barry that he's lorry was a piece of shit. He is not happy. There's gonna be war here. Um, I don't want to be responsible for what goes on when this lad gets thick. I thought it was Andy Bubbins or not. Right. Big Bad Dave, the original <laughs> cowboy. Barry's here, please come back to me, please come back to me, please come back. I'll give you 3,000 euro a week. He's there, no, fuck Here's off. No I don't need money, because he's rich. <laughs> Got a load of timber. Wonder who cut that? There's Davey, driving Andy Bubbins, Larry. Two cunts of men. Just in the door. Dinner's not ready yet, so I said I'd come down here for a while. I think I can hear him giving out down there. Everyone all right? You in bad farm? Huh? You in bad farm? No, just arguing over Hotel Transylvania. Bastards. <laughs>